Yo, welcome to the journalist DJ.com. I'm the journalist DJ, and you know, we out here with Gilame on the number one dance culture platform in Africa. Gigi, how are you feeling? I'm feeling so happy. We're about to make money, money, money. <laughs> so basically, today, Gigi said to us, Yo, pull up. She has a brand partnership with like a big brand. They said they're the number one selling business. Uh, of like what is it e-commerce yes. they sell the most amount of shoes yes. you know online and Gigi's about to get the check exactly. but you know before before we get into that I just wanted to just explain why we're here tonight why are we here tonight Gigi we're here to celebrate people going into business people who love money people who love legacies people who love art and people who like making things right and I think that's why we're here today we finally have a brand that are about women who love good shoes whether you are somebody who's young and you just come out of varsity or you're about to graduate or you're getting married rock and co is a space for you if you're a girl who really loves to delve into the unknown somebody who's really like liking to you know taste um what their alter egos hold that's what rock and co is about and i'm so proud to be an ambassador and also be a partner in the business it means a lot to me you've always been about your business i remember i interviewed you about five Six years ago, I don't know, guys, like I'm getting old, I don't remember the, the exact Same number. Here. And at the time, you had acquired a lot of Uber um, cars, as a, and, and you're you you the business owner of Uber cars. I think you said I was six or seven, I don't remember. Nine. And I, nine, yes. And we broke the story, or I broke the story, you know, many years ago. And I was like, damn, this one is smart. So tell me about your journey as an entrepreneur, you know. What other side of Gigi that people don't know? I think for one, POV Media is coming up really fast. Uh, we're currently one of the most rated podcasts in the industry. We've currently been nominated for Podcast of the Year with the ASDA Awards. Um, and it just means a lot to me. I actually should in, um, interview you, you know, about the nightlife, uh, all the events you cover, what you've learned. Um, and really, Point of View Media is about not seeking out what you think is um, socially correct, but finding out how people think, you know? And for the very first time, I can put my degree into practice as an anthropologist, and I can go out into the world and make money from it. So just as much as I have been an artist all this time, I've really found my chi, my purpose, and I'm excited you know, about it. I'm excited that I get to meet different people around the world um, who stand for what I stand for, and that's that nobody wants to be poor. We all want to be rich in Vegas or Ibiza. You just came from a tour and the tour is still happening. You were overseas, you know, doing your thing. Tell us about that. Exciting times. We're going to go overseas much more. Uh, besides the fact that the money is nice. <laughs> the people are also really nice. I get to learn different things. They get to teach me things. I get to teach them things. Um, and I think it was time in my career because um, I may not have hit the roof, but I'm such a wanderer. I appreciate learning from people and just being around different people. And uh, I guess that's what's inspired kind of the, the music I'm making right now. And just being able to sit in a room with a Portuguese person, a Colombian person, and somebody from Sweden. And we're thinking, we're all human. And the one thing that brings us together is music. Music and money, of course. <laughs> You know, and I'm still on the topic of money. you have always been about your money. You are about your money. And I always admired, you know, like for me, it's about like, when I first met you many, many years ago, which I'm not gonna mention, you were, you know, studying, focus on the hustle of like rapping. And you know, you used to go to like auditions and do all that type of stuff. And then you went and studied at bits. You know what I mean? And you're talking a bit about your degree now. And I know you. someone asked you about an alien, but tell me about the importance of being like educated and being creative. Do what you love. Education is not being a doctor, a lawyer, a nurse, a teacher, an accountant. Being educated is going and being a graphic designer, being a journalist, being a content creator, being a, an influencer now. There are programs on that. You know, whatever it is that you do, do it to the best of your ability. Whether you want to go into carpentry, plumbing, architecture, design, whatever it is. And it's surely going to bring you money. I always believe that you need to understand other people's way of thinking, the people that came before you, so that you're able to improve on an idea. 
Um, and that's where I, I have always been. So if you know somebody you look up to, like a John Antello, like a, a Virgil Blow, you know, who's no longer in the industry, who used to design all the things around us, and you can learn from him, and you know that you have the capacity to do as great as him, but in your own capacity and in your own creative space, go for it. But education is definitely going to put you ahead. Yeah, going back to the deal now, I want to understand, like, AKA just tweeted that um, the cruise vodka bottle sold, I don't know how many liters, but there was a lot of, like, uh, bottles sold. Yeah. And obviously you made a lot of money from that. Are you getting a share from this, uh, every product sold from this deal? Of course. If it ain't about the money, don't be hitting me up. I'm all about equity. Endorsements are nothing now. We want equity in these businesses. We bring social capital, we bring the people, we bring the vibe. You bring the money, you bring the infrastructure, and let's rock and come. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, lastly, man, I was listening to your performance now. Your sound is sounding on more piano. Tell me about the sound of your music going forward. Well, we're actually sounding more global. We're trying to do world music right now. I mean, sharing a stage with Post Malone, sharing a stage with. Um, Oh, so many amazing people, Javido, uh, Burner Boy. Just being able to travel this year has opened me up to a lot of things. And shout out to the Spani, the Spani who put me on, you know? And I think I'm just in a space right now where I have realized that I'm way more than the potential of just being hip hop. I can bring hip hop to the table, you know? So how we say, what can you bring to the table? I can go bar for bar, I can write music. Um, and that's what I'm offering to the world. And this is a set I've performed in Italy, I've performed in London, I've performed in the States, I've performed in the Middle East, and people are vibing with that stuff. And if we can push the agenda that is South African music forward, that's what I'm here for. Never mind the divisions or whatever else is telling us. It's all about getting Africa to the world, and that's what I want to do. Lastly, you know, there are so many dimensions to you, to your brand. You are also a Sango, my traditional I have, I have a crush on Moonchild. That's another part of my brand. What? I have a crush on Moonchild. That's another part of my brand. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't, okay, so tell, like, did you tell her that you have a crush on her? She knows now. <laughs> yo, Moonchild, yo, hit up Gigi Lame. Hey, Moonchild, I'm going to get this egg late. She did ask who she came first, the chicken or the egg. I'm telling her this egg want to get laid, okay? What's up? <laughs> so you done with niggas, you done with men? Never. I love my boys, but I love my girls too. <laughs> so, so, it's funny that you mention it. And we interviewed Moonchild about a month ago. Yeah. And she said that she's polyamorous and she wants to have like two husbands and two side chicks. I think I might just be the side chick. Tell me what's up, Moon. <laughs> okay, alright, cool. Ladies and gents, <laughs> Shishi Lame. Thank you so much. Is there anything else that you want to say to your friends out there? Uh, thank you so much to everybody who's been supporting me. Thank you so much to you. Listen, you are currently killing it, my journalist. One of my favorites in the business. Thank you so much for supporting me, for coming through. Um, and like, let's just get the black child working. The African black child working. I think it's really important for us to stick together. In a time when we're very confused about labels and about which spaces to align with. You know, let's guide each other. Let's respect each other. Let's push our agenda forward. And like I... I just said, thank you so much. Alright. Danko, danko, away, away. <laughs>